The resumption of production of the 222M3M missile carrier will be the best response to enemies these are long-range supersonic missile carriers with variable sweep wings capable of carrying nuclear weapons. In addition, the 222M3 can carry all types of air-launched cruise missiles. Even in the Soviet period, this aircraft was quite deservedly called the killer of aircraft carriers, and even the Eurostrategist, which allowed it to strike at targets in Europe. The presence of a special rod made it possible for the missile carrier to refuel in the air, which de facto turned it into a strategic one. The supersonic 222M3 is an excellent platform for the needs of both long-range and naval missile-carrying aviation. The problem is that there are not many of them left, and production has been discontinued. Got to the point that had to finish building four airframes that had been standing for decades in the open air at the site of the Kazan aviation plant in order to bring them up to the level of the 222M3M a natural question arises. If in country they were able to resume the production of the 2160M2 White Swan, then why not do the same with the 222M3M? The idea is quite tempting, since it would completely cover all the needs of long-range and naval aviation, pumping up the far hand. If Russia had several hundred such supersonic missile carriers in service instead of several dozen, distributed over the fleets and airfields of the Russian aerospace forces, this would be a truly impressive response to the NATO bloc. However, the resumption of production will rest in the absence of a power plant. The production of the 222M2 and the NK-25 engine for it, at the request of the Americans, has long been discontinued, the equipment has been dismantled. Renovation of existing missile carriers had to be done by purchasing used aircraft engines and components for them in Ukraine at one time. The resumption of production of the obsolete NK-25 can hardly be considered appropriate. However, it seems quite promising to install on 222M3M supersonic bombers in an upgraded version of the NK-3202 power plant, which is now used on the updated 2160M2 White Swan, which will seriously increase the performance characteristics of the Russian missile carrier. The 22 m 3 remains the staple strategic strike bomber of Russia's aerospace forces, with just over 62 22M models currently in service. Two 22M3s were used on several occasions over the course of Russia's military intervention into the Syrian civil war, flying dozens of strike missions against rebel and militant targets. One of the most recognizable symbols of Russian air power, the 222M3 has distinguished itself over its three decades of service as an effective and eminently reliable strategic bomber. The Tupolev 222M was conceived in the 1960s as an effort to replace the unique but deeply flawed 222 Maritime Strike Bomber. The project was an undisputed success, with the 222M offering vastly improved handling characteristics and superior pilot ergonomics. The 222M brought more than enough design and component changes to be labeled as a new aircraft, but Tupolev branded the bomber as a revision to the vastly inferior 222 in order to improve their chances of securing government funding. The 222M platform received its first major upgrade in the early 1970s in the form of the 222M2, bringing engine enhancements, additional weapons options, and navigation system improvements. The next major revision to the 222M formula was the 222M3 Backfire C, introduced in the 1980s. 
The Backfire C boasted the superior NK25 engines, as well as a slew of subtle, but impactful, design changes that included alterations to the nose, wings, and air intakes. The raw performance results speak for themselves, with a top speed of 2,300 km per hour, range of up to 7,000 km, and payload of over 24,000 kg, the 222M3 markedly outperforms its predecessor in every conceivable way. Other additions include a new radar and navigation system, which is particularly helpful for low-flying missions. 222M series aircraft are conventionally designed aircraft with a variable swept low wing. The structure is made, mainly, of aluminum alloys as well as high-strength and heat-resistant steels, titanium alloys and magnesium alloys. The wing consists of a fixed part and all movable panels. The sweep angle of the all movable panels is from 20 degrees to 65 degrees. High lift devices include slats, three piece double slotted flaps, three piece spoilers, and no ailerons. Spoilers are deflected differentially for roll control and synchronously to use them as an air brake. There is an all flying tailplane. The aircraft has a semi-monocoque fuselage and retractable tricycle landing gear with nose landing gear. The power unit consists of two minus 25 reheated double-flow turbofan engines. TA6A APU is installed in the dorsal fin fairing. In 2018, the first completely modernized 222 3 missile carrier bomber was created within the framework of a large-scale modernization program for aircraft systems of strategic and long-range aviation. In the course of the complete modernization, the aircraft was equipped with an advanced digital avionics system based on the domestic components. The conducted works resulted in the considerable enhancement of combat capabilities of the aircraft system including increased tactical effectiveness and larger operational radius. The first flight of the completely modernized 222-3 missile carrier bomber was on December 28, 2018.